often read in papers about what happens to people with blood clots. They die and I feel people were dismissive of me and left me in at high risk. How many people are out there now that are facing those same risks? It's frightening. I think it has changed me as a person because you get this kind of hyper-anxiety about every single symptom that you have. If I get a pain in my arm, in my chest, all those kind of things, I begin to think, what's happening? What is this? What potentially could it be? Do I need to have a look on Google? I need to go to see my doctor, but I need to be quite prepared to challenge what they say to me. Even if they say, oh, we don't think it's anything to worry about, I can't leave that doctor's and think, actually, yeah, it's nothing to worry about. The thing that really made a difference for me was actually my own research I found Thrombosis UK. First thing that I did was I saw they were having a conference for patients, so I went along to it. There's other people that have similar stories and just being able to share that experience with people that can really empathise and understand what you've been through has made a massive difference. After people have a blood clot, it's not surprising that many feel anxious and even depressed. It's a natural response to the body being ill. Uh, and sometimes they have difficulties in trusting health professionals again. Uh, if you have that type of symptom, it's probably important to seek out help through the general practitioner who might have a counsellor or a clinical psychologist attached to the practice. For us at Thrombosis UK, we have a helpline uh, and people willing to talk to you if you would like. Mm -hmm.